here what's going on everybody side pocket and carter here the superman of youtube today i'm going to bring you guys an official review of modern warfare 3 from my perspective a lot of people have already came out with reviews i don't know how you can't play the game for two days and already have a review video out i had to actually play this game for about a week to actually think about everything that's in this game that i don't like that i dislike that needs to be upgraded that needs to be patched and you know basically I think I got the formula. I don't, I don't know if you know anybody else will agree with me on this, but if you do, you know, leave it in the comment section. If you have anything that you want to, you know, touch on, please leave it in the comment section. We can go back and forth in the comments, and you know, we can get everything. You know, make up a list, uh, ship it out, you know, and see if they do anything about it. Now, first off, the one thing that they need to fix in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is the hit detection. Now, you know, back when I was playing Black Ops for PS3, the hit detection wasn't the best thing on the game at all. So, you know, hopefully they can do something this time, you know, to fix it, to help everybody out in the long run. Now, the second problem that I'm having is a few of the maps are ridiculous. Um, the spawns are everywhere. Um, of course, you know, some people still try to spawn trap, but you really can't spawn trap as much as on um, on MW3 as you could on Black Ops because everybody knew the spawn points because of blackbirds and things like that. On these maps, you constantly turn around because you see gunfire coming from every, every which way on the game and you don't know what you're doing. So with that being said, you know, with these maps, you guys, you guys just give us a few more maps, you know, that's that's a little more widespread, that doesn't have any, too many tight corridors and things of that nature. Give us something a little bit more open so we can actually see our enemy instead of looking at the top of their head and then they just picking us off, you know, like it ain't nothing. Now, um, one thing I do love about the game is the guns. I love the guns. Um, with that being said, I am assault rifle user only. I, I rarely use, you know, submachine guns, light machine guns, shotguns, and sniper rifles. So me, I'm more of an M4A1. I move on to the SCAR. Once I found out that the SCAR wasn't really much for me, I went back to the M4 until I unleashed the ACR. Now, in this gameplay, you can see that I'm using the M4A1. Now, that's because I wanted to level this gun up to make it gold. And everybody already knows what gold is, the gold gun. You can get it without having a prestige a million times in MW3. You know, on Black Ops, you had the prestige so many times just to get a one gold gun. You had to pay all this stupid amount of money. But, you know, MW3 is a whole lot better with that. But some people say, what's the reason for even prestiging? Now, to me, I remember playing MW2 for PS3. When you had to prestige, you wanted titles, you wanted emblems. That was the reason for prestige. And so I'm guessing, hopefully, you know, people will want to prestige again this year. But the thing about 80 levels, I know it's a hassle. And I know you guys probably won't want to do it because, to tell you the truth, I got two gold guns now and I really don't want to do it. So, you know, hopefully, you know, I think about it. A few double XP weekends might get me through, you know, and I might prestige once in a while, you know, maybe once or twice, you know. But once I start getting bored with the game, I realize that prestige might be the answer. Because, you know, when you prestige, of course, it's another challenge. So, of course, you know, I might do that. But one thing that is really, really, really all that about playing on Xbox. I know all my PS3 users are going to be like, man, F that iPod. What's up with you? The party chats are crazy, man. Listen, when you're in a party chat, you don't hear nobody but your team that you're playing with in the game. You don't got to worry about any outside feedback from people's mics. You don't got to worry about dogs barking in the background. You don't got to worry about people playing music in the background. You can't even hear what's going on in the game because I play with Tritons. Now, with my Tritons, they're like surround sound. So, I may, I, you, you might want to call it the surround sound perk. <laughs> I, I currently don't have the connection perk you know everybody know what the connection perk is that 60 megabit per second perk <laughs> I guess you want to call it I currently don't have that perk but I'm working on that right now I'm trying to get it by next week so you know right now I currently have the surround sound perk so I can basically hear everything that's going on around me that's why I'm constantly wavering my gun as I'm shooting and as I'm just you know running around because I can hear everything that's going on um, so basically with that being said, you, you need those if you want to play any COD, you know, you need the connection and surround sound perk. Now, one thing, um, I did have a big problem with this map right here. 
it was so much going on that I was actually literally running around looking for action because this map is kind of big but it's only two sides to the map no one really goes to the middle you know it's like once somebody gets the b flag people tend to stay away from it because it's so much gunfire going on you don't really want to get killed so with that being said I, this might not be my favorite map at all um, my favorite map to me I'm gonna have to go with dome now the reason I say dome is because it was the first map I played on I did pretty good at the map without even knowing it and it just it grew on me but it seems like after i played on dome that that first night <laughs> and i started getting in party tests and all of that it's like they just stopped letting us on dome we start playing more of the, uh that mall map and you know baraka and you know all those all those weird looking maps so enough about that let's get back to the review um one thing kill confirm oh my goodness that's probably the best mode on this game and the reason I call it the best mode on the game is because some people might say, oh, it stops people from camping and, you know, and all of that. No, the reason I like Kill Confirm because y'all stay as a team. That's the whole background of Kill Confirm. If you shoot somebody from a long shot, you don't, you don't even have to worry about picking up that tag. You can go ask somebody that's within that proximity to go pick up the tag for you. Because now it's all about teamwork. So, you know, if you kill six people straight and your whole entire screen is ready, you need to lay down and think about what you about the, what your next move is. You can tell your entire team to say, hey, yo, can you can you help me out by go confirming my kills? And, and they will. They'll do it without a problem. So that's my best mode on the game right now. Um, I am playing Domination right now because I was used to playing Domination so much on Black Ops that I kind of got used to looking at it. So that's the only reason why I was playing Domination in my first two videos on YouTube. But you know, you will be seeing a lot more kill confirmed coming from me. I do have some gameplay, you know, with other commentators, but you know, I'm saving that for probably next week or the week after because I'm trying to figure out, you know, if if that's usable. Because some people might say, hey, well, you don't got enough kills, you don't got enough deaths, or some some weird analogy. I really don't care. You know, I'm it's all about fun with me. I'm here to game, and that's what I'm all about. So, you know, another thing about Call of Duty. The kill streaks. Oh my lord. Let me tell you guys something. When playing Call of Duty, I never knew that you could get rewarded for dying. <laughs> Seriously, like the support package is it's outrageous, man. I don't understand it, man. You can literally get juggernaut, you can get a stealth bomber, ballistic vest, you can get the whole nine for dying. Like, I haven't used the support package yet. As you can see, I'm running uh, 3, 6, and 7 right now. They're, they're actual kill streaks. Now, when if I do and when I do run the support package, I might go crazy. Because even if you die, you don't got to work. All right, see this? See what's going on? See this little air drop that, air drop that dude did? This, this is from support. He's he bringing a stealth bomber. You know, that was the first thing I went for. I wasn't playing at all. But, like, dude went for a like a uh, airdrop and all of that and it was a booby trap package right there that, that's why nobody really touched it because you know you can point out the booby traps but like with the with the support package is crazy also with the kill streaks this year i kind of like them because you don't got to worry about the nuke so so that that keeps a lot of people from camping which means you know people that stand behind certain you know things uh heartbeat sensors uh how should i say uh claymores and all of that to try to get somebody that's within their proximity uh what is this dude doing i, I don't want that package <laughs> but uh it keeps people from camping and um i like i kind of like that about it you know it's it's just so much going on in call of duty modern warfare 3 that i like and i won't stop playing the game now a lot of people are saying that they're having a problem with the game they don't like the way the spawns are the hit detection the maps to tell you the truth i like it all now that's coming from somebody that played previously on PS3 so it might be something that these Xbox users that already have been playing this game year in and year out that know something that I don't so with that being said like people like Coop uh, he was playing 2k the other day he he rather play a game that makes him rage <laughs> instead of playing a game that's that he can he can ball with his homies in now a lot of people was playing Battlefield 3 as well a lot of people said that 
they might be switching back to BF3 because they don't really like the game as much and all of that. Hey, listen, this is the only game I have for Xbox, so I don't have that gift to gab. So that means I'm going to keep playing Modern Warfare 3 until I get burnt out. Because currently, I play games for a schedule for YouTube and I play games to have fun. So this is a real big game that I like playing to have fun because a lot of people of course plays this game and you know it's a lot of people on my friends list you know shout out to everybody on my friends list oh my god I think it's about a hundred of you guys that <laughs> you know like the, the first day I put out the Call of Duty video I believe four hours after that my friends list was full and I just want to thank everybody you know for showing love now let me tell you guys a little bit about the gameplay we have been losing all game right but we finally triple cap now with this being said you already know what it is when people triple cap you hold it down so you know I'm running to where all the red dots at I don't care if I die it doesn't matter to me I'm trying to make sure that my team can conceal a win real fast and you know I guess you could say my review is kinda over um, I really don't have anything else to touch on besides if you want to game with me um, my gamer tag is iPod and Carter if my friends list is full then of course you know I may look at my friends list to see who hasn't actually asked to game with me or who's just added me just because of my name and you know which I don't like because I do love to game you know I do like to play with different people you know hop in party, ch party chats or whatever and, and you know just talk about things but the gameplay is came to an end we pulled out the win it is what it is um I can't remember what I went I think I went 33 and 14 with like eight assists but um you will see that in the last you know final moments of the video i hope you like the review um also i'm out i guess <laughs> um yep you see the you see the clan tag uh but this is ikc signing out man all right y'all peace